every every single one of them, the nurses, the therapists, therapy in the hospital, therapy in, when they came to my home, the nurses in the hospital, the nurses here, they were just the best. And the people at the hospital are really very nice and make you feel comfortable. So as people get ready for it, I think you begin to feel more comfortable about the idea. Most of what happens at the hospital will be in the hands of your healthcare team. Rely on them and ask questions whenever you need to. Let's introduce you to the people who will be with you throughout your procedure. A lot of healthcare professionals are involved in providing the expert care you need for the surgery. Your team will be made up of many people. We have a whole array of people who help. For instance, we have physician assistants who help me in every case. We have a team of anesthesiologists, anesthetists, who help with the anesthesia. We have a team of nurses who see the patients postoperatively in the recovery room. And most importantly, when they go back to the floor, we have an orthopedic staff, nurses, therapists, social care workers who make them very comfortable, who after surgery help them with their wound care, their pain medications, and help them get out of bed the next day and get them ready for the return back to the normal life. Our job is to make them relaxed, comfortable, and get them through the joint experience so that when they go home, they're ready to go home comfortably and safely and good peace of mind. You can call us anytime you want, okay? We're always on call for you. You'll already know your primary care physician, orthopedic surgeon, and the nurses in your primary care and surgeon's offices. In the hospital, the physician assistant or nurse practitioner will be working alongside your surgeon as well as the anesthesiologist and operating room nurse. In the recovery room, you'll be seen by a post-anesthesia care unit nurse who will monitor your breathing, heart rhythm, and blood pressure and help you begin your recovery. Once you return to your room, a hospitalist or internal medicine doctor will check on you daily after surgery and you'll also see your surgical floor nurse and rehabilitation nurse. The pharmacist will provide medications prescribed by your physician to help manage pain and prevent infection and blood clots. The discharge planner will help you make the transition from the hospital to your aftercare arrangements. Your surgeon may recommend that you consult a physical therapist to discuss your physical therapy options, to see if you should be in a rehab program, and to give you exercises that you can begin before your surgery to aid in your recovery. I came out of it with no pain, like some people complain about, and was up on my feet the next day and started therapy right after that, walking down the hall with a walker, of course. You should make arrangements to have some help as you return to your daily life. This can come from family and friends or, for some patients, with a home health nurse. In some cases, you may be transferred to a skilled nursing facility, such as a nursing home or a rehab center, to recover from the surgery. Your healthcare team members have one goal in mind, to make your recovery as quick, efficient, and comfortable as possible. Now let's go through the process you'll experience at the hospital. Your first visit will be to a pre-surgery area where the team will take your vital signs to be sure you're ready for surgery. If family or friends are with you, they'll be taken to a waiting room as you're brought into the operating room area. Here, your anesthesiologist and nurses will start an intravenous line. You'll wake up in the recovery room. Your team members will always be nearby if you need help or have questions. When they come to the recovery room, actually they're fairly comfortable because the regional block, the spinal, is fully in effect. They have no pain whatsoever for the next probably four or five hours. Now giddy up, horsey. <laughs> okay, good, good. Congratulations, you did super today. Congratulations. I think we do a lot better job attending to patients' needs about pain control than we did five or ten years ago. Your body starts to heal immediately, but full recovery will take time. Try to be patient and let your team guide you through your progress. We want you out of bed the next morning. We want you with a therapist the next morning, twice a day. We want you to eat your breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the side of the bed. We engage you in therapy immediately so that you're walking with a crutches or a walker, usually a walker. And usually by day one afternoon, most patients can walk by 20, 30 feet, and every day it progresses from that point on. To the point where three days, we will have you walking on stairs and out of the hospital comfortable and relaxed. Many patients can stand and use a walker the day after surgery. 
you may need help with dressing and bathing though. Movement is important for your recovery process and to prevent blood clots. You will be encouraged to walk further every day and follow recommended exercises. With this kind of surgery, there may be a risk of developing blood clots in your legs and lungs. There are a number of ways to help prevent developing potentially dangerous blood clots, including taking medication prescribed by your doctor and wearing compression stockings. Follow your doctor's advice carefully and take your medications for as long as they're prescribed. You may still have aches and pains in various parts of your body for a while. Ask your doctor about medications to help relieve your pain. Ice, compression stockings, and elevation of the leg may help relieve pain as your incision heals. There's going to be some pain, and you have to expect that, but you have to work through it too. Your discharge planner will see you toward the end of your stay to ensure that your transition to aftercare is properly handled. He or she will provide you and your caregiver with instructions on what to do after you leave the hospital and make sure you have the medications you need for your recovery. If you require additional care, the discharge planner will coordinate the transition to a skilled nursing facility or rehab center. If you're having a lot of pain and it hurts you every single step you take, do it. Don't put it off. Look into it, study it, talk to lots of people who have had it done, and there are plenty of people who have had it done, and uh, do it. You have to do it. You don't want to go through life with pain. Every step you take hurts. And now, it's time to leave the hospital and gradually return to your regular life. See our next video, After Your Hospital Stay, for more about that.